Hi everybody. Welcome to the summer recipe series of my chaotic kitchen. A little less chaotic today, potentially, uh, but we are going to be making a dupe today. So I absolutely love the Druthers strawberry chicken salad um, when that seasonal option comes back in the summertime. It is one of my favorite things to eat. And because they change everything seasonally there, at least a lot of their salad products, a lot of the things that I can eat because of my dietary restrictions. Um, I created it at home. So um, what you'll want is you'll want some chicken, uh, just some grilled chicken or some chicken that you've roasted in the oven, just anything like that uh, will work. I have already cooked mine because otherwise we'd be spending 45 minutes talking to each other, uh, which I don't mind, but you know, right now I'm just kind of talking to myself. So, um, You'll want to cook that up, and then you'll also want to cool it. So it's already cold and ready to go. You'll want some mixed greens, you'll want strawberries, you'll want some balsamic glaze or balsamic vinegar, olive oil, uh, you'll want some red onion, and you'll also want some cheese. I like to use goat cheese. You can also use feta for this, um, but I am going to use goat cheese. So let's get started. We're gonna get out our chicken. We're gonna get out our strawberries, which I have not washed. Probably won't, you should. Don't be like me, you should. Um, I'm also going to get out my goat cheese. I just buy a big old thing because it lasts me a while. Oh, and my balsamic waste is in here. So I'm going to grab that too. We want a red onion as well. I'm just going to try and find one of the smaller ones that I have here. small red onion as well. Put that to the side with my also bucket. So, we're gonna take a nice big salad bowl. We are going to open up our lettuce. And that is just gonna go I'm not super hungry, so I'm actually going to be eating this immediately after we make it today. So I'm just going to fill a couple of handfuls of greens in here. And this is the 50-50 mix, so it's baby spinach and just kind of spring mix blended together. Put that right back in my fridge. Then from there, we're going to grab our strawberries, our red onion, and Tupperware, I'm just not using all of that red onion. We're going to start by cutting up our onion. Cut off both sides. I peel off the first layer because normally that is kind of uh, at this point, because I've had these onions for a hot second, uh, is not a great color because some of the moisture gets in there. So you peel it off. Um, you wanna cut from the side that doesn't have this. You wanna cut from this side. We're just gonna go straight down. I'm only gonna cut just two pretty thin slices of red onion, and then that is going into my refrigerator. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna cut those in half. So it's kind of like, kind of like that. I guess in quarters, not halves. And break them up in there. If you want, you don't have to do raw onion if you're not a raw onion fan. Um, you could do like cooked onion. Like if you just have like baked onions somewhere and you're like, I need to use these. You know, you could also do that. Um, you could use pickled onions in this. It really doesn't matter. And then from there, we are going to cut our strawberries. So like I said, these are not washed uh, because I don't feel like it. You should wash them. Uh, normally I do, I just haven't had the time. Um, so we're just gonna chop off the tail end and then we're gonna cut lengthwise. So we're cutting this way. I love adding fresh fruit to my salads um, because it is salad season now that it's warmer outside and no longer winter. We love something refreshing and also filling. I'm trying to find like my, my reddest, juiciest ones because you know those are going to be need to be used up first. All right, so I cut about five strawberries, four or five strawberries in there. You don't need a ton, but you need enough. And then we have our chicken. We have mine already, already cooked. Um, I seasoned mine with some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, some basil, some, um, oregano and some Italian seasoning. So I'm just going to take a chunk and I am going to just slice that chunk into like these thin, nice strips. And then those are gonna go into my salad as well. If you don't feel like cutting them into strips and you wanna cut them into something smaller, also fine, but I like the strips. I believe Druthers puts in like a full um, chicken breast. Let me see. I do this part here as well. Well, not a full, full chicken breast, but you know, like a good sized. Cause we wanna make sure we're getting that protein in. And if you don't want the cheese, you don't have to put the cheese. I put like some, I don't put a, a ton in, but there's enough. You can also do the same thing with like apple and pear if you're into that, but strawberries are in season. So that is why I'm using strawberries. So we already have my partially used goat cheese, so I'm just going to literally take a chunk and crumble that into my bowl. Again, we got a fresh, we got a fiber, we got a fat, we got a protein in here, which is which makes our complete meal. All right, nice, wonderful. I only put some, goat cheese can uh, almost have a melting effect um, when it's mixed with an acid like a balsamic vinegar, uh, which is kind of cool. So you don't need that much because it almost kind of like melts into, and then if you get like a, like a bit of lettuce and feel like a chunk, it's like, ooh, nice. Um, you know, clean it up as we go. And then we are going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here. Again, adding another good fat. Just 
just a little drizzle on top before we mix. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and some balsamic reduction or balsamic glaze. And I just kind of like to do a crisscross pattern and then call it good. And you don't really need too much with this because you've got the creaminess of the goat cheese. You have the sweetness from the strawberries. We got the tartness and those fats from the balsamic. So you don't really need a lot. It's already a pretty flavorful salad. So it's gonna look like this in your bowl. Maybe grab a slightly bigger fork here. And then we're just going to mix that up because no one likes an untossed salad where you're eating all of the quote unquote good stuff um, at the top. So we're just gonna mix that through, make sure that that cheese gets incorporated, that the onions get incorporated, that the strawberries get incorporated. So that way we're getting just a little bit in each bite. So it's not like a bite full of onions or just um, you know spring mix. You know, a little bit of everything. You can see, at least I can see it, I'll show you that the goat cheese will start to kind of break up and attach itself, like I said, to the different lettuces that are in here, the different greens. It's getting all over my bowl as it slowly kind of melts together. And then you're uh, gonna be looking like this, a nice hearty salad. Like I said, I'm not super hungry, otherwise I would fill this bowl to the top. Uh, and that's how you make Druthers Strawberry Salad Dupe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below.